what happened to Mountain. Leslie West, a former member of the Long Island R&B group The Vagrants, formed Leslie West Mountain with Norman Landsberg on keyboard and bass, Ken Janik on drums, and they started playing shows and making demos at the beginning of 1969. Around this time, The Vagrants' previous producer, Felix Papillardi, a former Cream collaborator and producer, expressed interest in producing West's work. Cream served as a major source of inspiration for West, who had previously been angry and unsatisfied with the failure of his first project. He started to lose faith in the R&B and blues scene of the 1960s where he performed. He imagined a project that would adopt the tougher sound he had started to prefer, with this freshly created guitar approach being influenced by Eric Clapton of Cream. Papillardi turned down the trio of Wes, Landsberg, and Janik's demos, but he agreed to play bass on Wes' solo album, Mountain. N.D. Smart, a former Remains drummer, and Landsberg were also featured on the record. West's raw vocals and lyrical bluesy guitar playing were highlighted on the record, and Papillardi's bass lines were prominent. When Papillardi inquired as to what would come next, according to West, West advised the two to go on the road. Cream had a big influence on the group. After Landsberg left to establish Hammer with Janik, keyboardist Steve Knight from Devil's Anvil, another of Papillardi's ventures, was added. Before playing their third gig as a working band at the 1969 Woodstock Festival in Bethel, New York, Wes, Papillardi, Smart, and Knight, who took the name Mountain after West's 1969 solo album, played gigs on the West Coast. The festival audience reacted favorably to Mountain. However, neither the band nor the performance were featured on Volume 1 of the live record from the festival. Theme for an Imaginary Western, a song they intend to record for climbing and written by former Cream bassist Jack Bruce and West's song Blood of the Sun, did both make appearances on the second collection of Woodstock performances titled Woodstock 2. The songs Beside the Sea and Southbound Train have performances that were taped for the 40th anniversary edition of Woodstock on DVD and Blu-ray. Lawrence Corky Lang, a Canadian drummer who played on the March 1970 album Climbing, took Smart's place shortly after Woodstock. The album debuted with Mississippi Queen, which went on to become the group's anthem and peaked at number 21 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was also featured in the cult classic Vanishing Point in 1971. In the midst of a busy touring schedule, Mountain released their follow-up album, Nantucket Sleigh Ride, which was released in January 1971. Although this album peaked at number 16, no hit single was produced. In the UK, the theme song for ITV's Sunday political program, Weekend World, was the song with the same name. The band continued to earn some critical praise after these early releases, but they never again experienced significant financial success. Following the release of Nantucket Sleigh Ride, the group released Flowers of Evil on November 1971. It featured one side of studio recordings and one side of live performances taken from a performance at New York's Fillmore East. Mountain disbanded in February 1972 after a tour of the UK. West has since cited a combination of drug abuse within the band and Papillardi's road weariness and burgeoning hearing impairment as primary factors. A live album, Mountain Live, The Road Goes Ever On, was issued in April 1972. While West and Lang established West, Bruce, and Lang with former Cream bassist Jack Bruce, Papillardi went back to working in the studio. The new three recorded two studio albums and a live release over the course of the following two years, after giving their first American appearance at a Carnegie Hall concert, which sparked a bidding war that Columbia Records ultimately won. In 1973, after Bruce abruptly left the group, West and Lang carried on for a short while as Leslie West's Wild West show which also included special guest Mitch Ryder, New York City guitarist Peter Barron, and bassist Tom Robb, formerly with Mylon LeFevre's band and then with the Marshall Tucker Band. 
With Alan Schwartzberg on drums and Bob Mann X Dreams on keyboards and guitar by August 1973, West and Papa Lardy had reformed Mountain. The new band toured Japan and released a double live album from the tour Twin Peaks in February 1974. Mountain's final album with Papa Lardy as a member would be the studio album Avalanche from July 1974 for which Lang returned to play drums and David Perry replaced him as the second guitarist from November 1973 to September 1974. The band disbanded once more after performing one final concert at the Felt Forum in New York City on December 31, 1974. Papillardi was shot in the neck on April 17, 1983 in their fifth floor east side Manhattan apartment by his wife and songwriting partner Gail Collins Papillardi, who also created many of the band's record covers and composed many of their lyrics. After almost 10 years of taking separate musical paths, West and Lang reformed Mountain in 1981, bringing in Miller Anderson, ex Savoy Brown, and Keith Hartley on bass. In 1984, Mark Clark took over for Anderson after the latter experienced issues obtaining a travel visa and the group release Go For Your Life, which was released in March 1985. On June 22, 1985, this lineup performed at the Nebworth Fair alongside Deep Purple, Alaska, Mama's Boys, Blackfoot, and Meatloaf. Go For Your Life was created in honor of Papa Lardy. Soon after, the group performed alongside Triumph at Illinois' Prairie Capital Convention Center. Beginning in the late 1980s, the drum break in Long Red has become one of the most sampled drum breaks in hip-hop. It's been used in artists like EPMD, Pete Rock and CL Smooth, A Tribe Called Quest, Nas, Kanye West, and Game, among many others. The Beastie Boys' 1989 album, Paul's Boutique, which featured a lot of samples, is notable for the usage of a brief sample of Mississippi Queen on the tune Looking Down the Barrel of a Gun. Mountain went dormant once more until 1992, when West and Lang reformed and added Richie Scarlett, a musician best known for his solo endeavors and partnerships with Ace Frehley, to complete the band that made a live appearance on The Dennis Miller Show. In 1993, Scarlet was replaced by Randy Coven, and the Mountain lineup for 1994 had West, Lang, Noel Redding, and occasionally appearing special guest guitarist Elvin Bishop. West, Lang, and Mark Clark went back together by 1995, and they recorded Man's World in 1996. Up until 2001, the Mountain camp was relatively quiet. With Scarlet back in the lineup, the band went on tour that year before recording Mystic Fire, which was released in 2002. Nantucket Sleigh Ride and Other Mountain on the Road Stories, a book of memories written by West and Lang in 2003, describes their time with the band at its height and their subsequent careers. And if you have any interest in reading that book, I will have a link in the description below. Mountain made their debut in a video game in 2007 with Mississippi Queen, a playable song in Red Octane's Guitar Hero 3. Despite being a cover of the studio recording, the song is also included in the Harmonix video game Rock Band. Their most recent CD, Masters of War from 2007, has 12 Bob Dylan tributes and an Ozzy Osbourne cameo. With former Michael Schenker group member Rev Jones on bass, the group embarked on a North American tour in October and November 2008 as the opening act for Joe Satriani. A positive review of the Mountain performance at the San Diego House of Blues including Blowing in the Wind from the album Masters of War. The reviewer enjoyed Mountain's blues influence during the Satriani set as well as the fact that Wes participated in the closing blues jam of Stormy Monday and Going Down, which was led by Satriani. Howard Stern, a fellow Long Islander, has listed Mountain as one of his favorite bands and has occasionally played songs from them on his show. Randy Rhodes, John McLaughlin, Johnny Ramone, Clutch, Karma to Burn, and comedian Dennis Miller 
are among other lovers of Mountain. Jethro Tull guitarist Martin Barr has acknowledged in interviews that Leslie West had a significant impact on his style. Together with Rev Jones, Corky Lang, and Leslie West, Mountain continued to perform on occasion. West's lower right leg was amputated on June 20, 2011 due to complications from diabetes. After the procedure, West recorded and performed alone. The Mountain songs were a staple of his live performances. In 2015, Corky Lang established Corky Lang Plays Mountain. In 2015, this project featured guitarist and vocalist Phil Baker and bassist slash vocalist Joe Venti. Richie Scarlett on bass and Ken Sedoti on keyboard were part of Lang and Venti's 2016 American tour. In addition to songs by West, Bruce, and Lang, they also played mountain music. Additionally, Chris Shudders and Richie Scarlett alternated on guitar in the lineup with Mark Michael on bass starting in 2017. On December 22, 2020, Leslie West passed away from a heart attack. He was 75. The lineup of Corky Lang's Mountain, which featured Lang on drums and vocals, Joe Venti on bass and vocals, and Richie Scarlett on guitar, started touring again in 2021. And that's what happened to Mountain. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know. Give me some facts that I failed to mention about Mountain on this video. And if you want to check out the book I mentioned earlier, like I said, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.